slightly overexposed Dimmy here. Thank you, webcam. Very cool. And welcome back to another video. Now, I am big time behind schedule today, which actually kind of ties in with this video, seeing as public transport in the UK, uh, it's basically a lottery. You know the old phrase that you wait ages for a bus and then two come along at once? In the UK, you just do the waiting. The buses never come. So I was thinking that today I want to do a bit of a relaxed video, seeing as the weekend was super intense uh, with the Bathurst 12 hour with Jaja. Highlight video coming soon, by the way. And then I stumbled across this glorious mod for an Alexander ALX 400, which means nothing to me usually, but luckily there are pictures too. And my small brain understands picture good. That's right, it's a double-decker bus, like you sort of find in the UK, in town centres, etc. And I thought, where would be the best place to lap a double-decker bus? And of course, the first thing that came to mind was the Nordschleifer. But I've driven there like 40,000 times in the last year, so I thought, let's try something a little bit different. I thought it'd be a great idea to take this bad boy rallying, because why the hell not? Now, some specs from this awesome machine, because I know you want to hear it, and I absolutely love that. Instead of providing a horsepower figure, it's 308 wheel horsepower. But of course, being a bus and being a hefty diesel over a thousand newton meters of torque so we're one talky boy however we do weigh 12 tons about the same as my x1 so we put all those facts and figures together in a big virtual stirring pot what am i doing with my hands and we get one of the best rally machine ever made and just before we start this frankly stupid idea for a video if you do enjoy it and want to see more stuff like this then feel free to tap that like button and subscribe we are on the way to 600,000 subscribers and you guys are getting me there so thank you very much I am prepared, chat, but I'm not sure the people of the Finnish countryside are. Look at this unit. We go in driving, driving. Now, this is a view I had from secondary school on the way back from school every day. I love the idea of this guy bringing a camera to the event, and then this is the only thing that shows up. So I wanted a Group B car, damn it, not a bus. Anyway, it's time. Double-decker bus on a rally stage. Oh, it's a good getaway. I haven't clutch kicked a bus before, I can tell you that. As you know, I have the drift bus. That is a ludicrous statement in itself. I, so I guess the, the trick is to carry as much momentum as possible because we're large. It takes us a long time to get up to speed. So I mean, we've got to be careful. Oh, I didn't bat behind the handbrake. That's going to definitely be the difference between life and death in this stage. <laughs> Just hopping over. Just doing a little hop every now and then. So I'm not sure really what to expect. I don't remember this stage from the last time I drove it. Up into fifth gear though, using that torque. 80 k's, it's about 50 mile an hour or so, which is terrifying in a bus that weighs 12 tonnes. And I've got, of course, I've got no pace notes, so I'm just keeping the lit and waiting until I have to get off the power in order to survive. They really do be like that sometimes. There's a guy up ahead there, so I'm going to use him as my market and turn in. Turn in. Oh god, over the crest. Over the crest of the hill. This thing actually handles pretty well. Um, better than I thought it would. Again, not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I, I fear if I question it too much, then I'm going to end up in some trees. Doing well so far. Doing well. Is fifth gear better at this speed for torque? It kind of is. Okay, so fifth gear is good for the torque. We've got to shift earlier. We're in a bus, Jimmy. Come on. It seems the important thing is to try and keep it on the uh, inside or in the center of the track. That's where the grip is. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Pinto. Obviously not as good as a driver as me, Gary, the bus driver. How's this thing look going along? Oh, tell me that isn't majestic. Tell me that isn't fantastic. Oh, I can't see where I'm going. I didn't think this through. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> look at her go, man. Group B Raddy got nothing on this. Oh! <laughs> Why you don't change views when you're driving? Am I stuck? No, I can't be stuck. Come on. Oh, I'm, I'm proper in here. Oh, nice. Survived it. Come on, get out of the ditch. You get those wheels spinning. Awesome. See that? You can't flim flam the gym jam, especially when he be yeeting a double decker bus through the countryside. My steering has gone off. <laughs> center a bit. I don't think I have damage on, but apparently I do. You know, this actually isn't terrible. I'm sort of half tempted to put up a challenge to see how quick someone can get through here. Oh, in the bloody ditch again. Come on. Need more turbo boost. This is where I want the drift bus with like a 10,000 horsepower. Exactly what you want. 
Now this section looks like a lot of fun. We're going to go to the fifth early. Try and carry the speed. 70 Ks. Over the crest. Yup, maybe. I haven't caught any air in this thing yet. I'm not sure it would be the best thing if I did, if I'm completely honest. Nice and easy. Look at this. Tommy Mackinna, mate. Eat your heart out. I'm the real rally driver. Oh, no. Don't go in the ditch. It's stuck in the ditch. Come on. Ow. 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 <laughs> As I was saying, I'm better than Tommy Mackinnon. <laughs> oh, I love stupid shit like this, man. I could, I could do this stuff forever. This is the best thing about sim racing for me, is not taking it very seriously. We're actually making good progress through this stage. You know, we've got... If your kids live down a, uh, a long finished road, then they'd be safe inside this double-decker bus. I mean, there'd be the occasional fatality, but... You know, what do you expect from such a public service? You know, you, can, you can't have everything. <laughs> you want your kids to go to school? Some of them have to be sacrificed. <laughs> oh, so that's 90 Ks. Threatening to get near 60 mile an hour. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Rocks, rock, rocks. Oh, no. Have I fallen? No, we're good. I thought we got stuck in the ditch, but the, the torque. The 1,000 new meters of torque pulling us out. Also, this is definitely a contender for the Ascended Endurance Series that I really need to bring back where we get all the meme cars and do a multi-class race. We've got to do that against him, I think. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, no. Not so nice. Opposite of nice. Oh, I just drifted. I just drifted the bus. Yes. Let's carry the speed, mate. Let's carry the flick. Oh, look at this. Look at the aggression. Look at the aggression. Oh, my God. This is going to end badly. This is going to end badly. We're bouncing. We're bouncing. <laughs> I don't really know what happened just then, but I think physics left the chat. Oh, my wheels on super heavy. What's going on? Do I have... Do I have... Purchase still? No. No. Why are we going backwards? Why are we going backwards? <laughs> forwards. Forwards. Come on. Oh, I think I've got stuck again, lads. How do I recover from this? Oh, I see. See, there's your problem. Oh, I'm inside spectators. I thought there were people with the bus, but they're... Oh, God, I'm sorry. <laughs> Came to watch Rally. Killed by a bus. Let me go! So unfortunately, that bus is now lost forever. It's now stuck in the undergrowth and will become part of the finished forest. So we've sent the backup bus. <laughs> Hopefully he can pick up where the other bus left off and not, uh, not murder as many spectators. That'll be a good start. Oh no! Not again! <laughs> okay, we survived. That guy got the whole thing on camera. So did he! So did he! <laughs> I think we're getting close to where I died last time. It's sort of hard to know because it all sort of looks the same when you're going through it in a bus. We're basically looking for a giant hill. That's where we died before. I think we're coming up to it now. Take two. This time we're going to get up easily. Right, let's just center of the road. Don't let it bounce as much. There you go! Oh no. Get out. Get out of the ditch. Get out of the ditch. No. Come on. Okay, we're good. I think we're good. No, we're still in the ditch. No. No way. Okay, good. We're out, I think. Come on. It's not moving. Oh, not again. Not again. Can I reverse back onto the trail? Would that IQ work? Oh, my God. I think, I think it worked. Now, please. Straight and true. Come on. It's moving. It's moving. Oh, this could be it. Second gear. Oh, we've made it! Yes! See you later, boys! I'm out of here! We surely can't be too far from the end now. Surely not. Oh, it's tight up here. This is not... This is not bus... <laughs> bus friendly! Look how quick it is, too. Oh, here we go. Getting that speed up. Probably shouldn't be doing this, but... Do I dare? Do I dare take sixth gear? Oh, I dare. Oh, this is going to be a monumental accident, and I'm looking forward to it. Oh, there it is. Oh, I've, I've clipped through the world. <laughs> you see there, guys? Motorsport's going in the wrong direction. You shouldn't be trying to slow the car down using brakes and brake discs. you got to just clip through the world. Look, it stopped you instantly. See how this maniacal bus driver slows his bus down instantly with one simple trick. We're back up to speed again, which is good. 
Let's try and carry that speed this time. And the only downside to my technique of slowing the bus down is it is somewhat involuntary. It sort of just happens. The bus just goes, you know what, I've had enough of this, and just phases through reality. Which is pretty much the entirety of my early 20s anyway. Back up to fifth gear because I don't value my life or most people on board. Nice. Tip the bus, tipping the bus in nicely there, using that weight transfer. Center of gravity could be lower on the bus, um, if I'm honest, you know. Having literally two tiers of seats doesn't make this thing the best for uh, weight transfer. But sometimes it really do be that way. And we work with what we've got. Come on, give me 100 Ks. 100 Ks is 60 mile an hour. There it is, 60 mile an hour. Oh my God, 108 Ks. This is, this is faster than I've been so far. Oh, the bus don't like it. Hello, go. Oh, God, I've just destroyed a forest. No way. Oh, I am properly in here. No, I was close to the end. Let me out. Oh. So we're sending out now bus number three. The hit rate isn't too great, it seems, with the, uh, the buses on this. Uh, <laughs> on this rally stage. Apparently, and I have no idea why, trying to go over 60 mile an hour in a double-decker bus on the gravel road doesn't work so well. I, I can't imagine why not. I'm actually driving a bit more conservatively now because I want to get to the end. <laughs> I don't want to have to do it again. Don't make me. He says, okay, now maybe that is the stage. There you go. Slowing her down now. Oh, no, not again. Not again. Okay, we made it. We made it. Oh, I thought that was it. I thought that was the end. I thought that was bus number three dead. We can't be far away now. Come on. Give me sweet relief. It's all I want. All I want is the end. <laughs> oh, the fans are all here to watch me go through. Hey, guys. Thanks for coming out. No, your kids are in the other bus. Sorry. <laughs> I, I think I'm getting the hang of how to drive this thing now. Basically, don't do anything. <laughs> Drive slowly in the center of the stage. I try not to slide too much. You don't really come back from it very well. Easy now. Come on, Jimmy. Don't let the pressure get to you. The pressure of tens of people watching these videos. <laughs> and my mum, of course. Oh, that's got to be it. Yes. Where's the red? Where's the red? Oh, we've made it, boys. Holy ass. We made it! The bus made it to the end of the stage! Oh, I have no idea how. Zero idea how. Look at it. In all its majesty. Look at that. Is there a finer sight on your rally stage? I think not. Let's back her up for a better look. Let me just send it round. Can you J-turn? No, that'll do. Guys! Hope you enjoyed that. That was me taking a double-decker bus for a rally stage, because why the hell not? If you enjoyed the video, then feel free to tap that like button, subscribe, and do all the good things. We are on our way towards 600,000 subscribers, and you are helping me get there. So thank you all so much. And of course, a massive thank you to my patrons and sponsors and channel members, those guys who hit the join button down below, for allowing me to do stupid stuff like this as a job. Can't complain, really, can you? Take care, have an awesome day, and don't be afraid to use public transport. As you can see, it is entirely safe. See you all next time.